So we just wanted to take a moment before we get into this next video to wish all of you well, wherever you may be in the world watching. Obviously, the uh, coronavirus pandemic, global pandemic, has affected all of us. Uh, we will get through this together if we all do our part and self-quarantine and follow your local authorities. Uh, we'll get through this and we will get back to living life as we have, have always known. Uh, hopefully we never see this type of thing play out again. Um, but we just wanted to wish you, your family, friends, um, all well. And uh, we hope that this video brings a little ray of sunshine into your day. And, uh, and we will see you soon. We're just trying to find out where the boat is. Uh -huh. I mean, we knew where it was, certainly. Um, but I think they may have moved it, maybe, for closing. Uh -huh. sure. What we're going to do this morning is we're going to um, go to run through, start the engines, okay, and uh, and leave in the dock. Okay. And so how you would wait? We're going to leave the dock. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I wouldn't have said anything about leaving the dock. <laughs> I'll be pointing out something very important, which is to make sure you pick all your fenders up uh -huh. before you pull out. If you don't pick your fenders up as you're coming along the dock post, you could catch a fender, and it would tear your stanchion right now. Okay. Sea trial this morning with Alex is going to be raising the sails checking all your reef lines, uh, checking full hoist, open up your Genoa, tack the boat to make sure, you know, lines are correct, because uh, this boat came out on a freighter. Is somebody starting the engines? Yes, we were going to try to sail out of here, but we didn't have you up there to sail us out. My name is Maki. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. All right, so this is sea trial. We are just pulling out of the uh, slip here. Skipper's with us and our broker, Bob Ross. Pretty crazy that this day is finally here. Push down. I locked it just so if we're coming out, someone knows that there's a boat coming. So this is salt water coming in. This okay. is fresh water coming in. So you you tell right now. That it's salt. taking salt water and it's putting it into your yep. fitting. Oh, okay. So that's really cool. You're anchored. You got mud all over your chain. You got mud all over your anchor. 
you wash it, wash it, wash it with salt water, you put your fresh water on it, just rinse off the salt. What you want to get is two 25 foot hoses, the thin 25 foot hoses. Yeah. This way, if you just wash it up here, you're not dragging a big hose out. If you want to go all the way to the stern and wash fish blood off or whatever mess you made back there, sand or whatever, put your other 25 on they can go anywhere. So we're just checking Going to make sure that we're clear on the channel. Have you seen what people are doing here with uh, bringing the retrieving line back here with a with a oh. fleet? Oh yeah. Uh, Randy and Lenny did it. Yeah. Did it. That's uh, Nancy Underwood, and uh, you might want to do that because it's safe. It's Instead of climbing out there. Yeah. Uh -huh. The only way to do that. Yeah. Is you know you're kind of like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Try to unhook this there and bring it back here and put it on your sail and then taking your sail off you've got to put your tack down there so when you have that coming back it's a lifesaver so we're going to go through shutting down the generator and opening the door so we can get a breeze so this is why you need rugs what is beeping it's a, the voltage is just low on your um, start battery for uh, port. So as we drive, it's gonna recharge Recharging. itself, um, but we will check it when we get back. But nothing to be concerned, it's just letting you know that the voltage and how, is low. How are you identifying port, port start battery? Or so it's it? one, yeah, so start one, starter one battery. Oh, okay, which would be port. so one and two, okay. So we'll, we'll check that out, should always be charged. Okay. Yeah, the VHF. You can see it's on cool right now. Yep. This is what you want it to be. Okay, I want it to be 63 degrees. If you wait for a second, that's what it is. It's 69 degrees. And you're asking for 63. And you're asking for 63. Okay. So to turn it off, you use this. Cycle through? Right. Okay. But if you turn this off, on the panel. Then everything's off. Okay. And to kill the generator, just go to stop. Yep. That's it. We've been on generator, and of course we transferred the generator power. So we, these both are on. Now we're going to go back to dock and plug in. So you have to turn these off before you can move that. Oh, yeah. And then switch to shore power. That's it. Go back on. Okay. So this is divided. This is your number one short board right here. This is your number two short board right here. Okay. And that's why we put one air conditioner and one hot water heater on one cord, on one air conditioner or hot water on the other because so you're not using all your power for water. What if you had the splitter? The splitter what gives you power for everything. That's just like having two cords plugged in. Yep. Same thing. Okay. But your boat is a 110 volt boat. Okay. It's not a 220 boat just mm -hmm. because you're plugged into 220. You're splitting off right away to two one tens. All right. Okay. Nice. This is your water system. Your the one on your left this one. is off. See how you have that line? And yeah. the part, right? That's off. So that would turn, turn up. up. Turn it. Does it go up or down? Up down. Now it's on. Okay. When you guys listen. Okay, so listen. Here's one, this is your first real time out on a boat, okay? I get to drive. I know, but listen, the number one rule on the boat when we're moving is that one hand is always holding the boat and the other hand is free. Always. If you're gonna move before, Can I do two? before you let go and you move, you grab with another hand, you let go of that one and you keep moving, okay? That way we minimize the chances of falling down, getting hurt, or falling off the boat. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Oliver and Lucas are keeping the skipper quite busy with a thousand and one questions. But um, I gotta say, it's pretty nice to be finally on our boat.
Yeah, it gets a little hairy getting caught on him as you yeah. go up. Okay, right now, you're not feeling good. Right now, the All right, main I want you to sit down right at that table, right in the middle of the boat. He's calling to make you feel better, okay? Hang on, the main halyard is popping. Yeah, I saw that. Here, you want to go check on Oliver? He's getting seasickish. You're going to drop all your reef lines, okay? You're going to open up your clutches for your reef lines. Yep. You ready? Yep. Let me get into the wind. Oh, you got a flat top. Yeah. Cool. Good. Now you want to set your lace jack back up because once you drop your sail, you wouldn't be able to do it. Yep. Because of all the weight. Does the bag look good? So this is this is not a bang. This is a strut. All this does is keep the boom from dropping if your topping lift is off and hitting the hard top. So it's not adjustable. Don't call it a bang. Yep. A bang is something you can adjust like on a race boat or something. Okay, you want to release your port chip sheet all the way. Oh. Unlock the port chip sheet. I gotta drive it a little oh, yeah. bit, right? Go on. Uh -huh. Just leave that unlocked, make sure it's ready to run. Oh, wow, well, we're going no to knots in it. Not hung up anywhere. No. Release your... Are, you gonna, are we going to release that one? And see your Should... furling line? Yep. The the furling line in the middle? Yeah, code zero with that. the chip. And again, and you want to make sure that's ready to run. Trip. Oliver, that's good, Joe. And uh, you're good to go. Touch the wind in. Now you can bring it. In. And one thing you want to check is the top of the jib is tight. It's full hoist. We've had sails come on the wrong way. You see your luff is nice and tight. Yep. What is that for? That is the autopilot. Oh. So he's telling it which way to go. Right here, a little inflatable guy pops up and he steers for you. Do you see him? Doing 1.5 knots. Very good. I doubt we're going to be able to tack free. Let's try it. All right. Whenever you're ready. You ready to we'll tack? We'll back wind to jib. Sure. Um, so we're going to go the other way. Going the other way to tack. Starboard? Port. Your wind, your wind is here, so you're going to tack. The tack is going to go through the wind, so you're going to go from here. Right. You're going to go through irons to there, so you're going the wrong way. So should I turn that way? No. Nope. Turn to left. Yeah. This is going to be a way. jive. Keep turning. Getting some wind. Two point three. Driving. You're doing a great job driving. Should I push the metal for weather? Yeah. Go for it. Temperature 77 degrees. Wind northeast at 5 miles an hour. He's right. At Pompano Beach, fair. Temperature 77 degrees. Now this is, see, when you pull it out. Oh, yeah, okay. It's not engaged. Yeah. Hey, dude, going. Neutral. And in gear. How fast? Tell me when you want to drop the mains. Dropped it a little too fast. Yeah. Didn't, didn't stack nice, quite as yeah. nice. channel is the Coast Guard on? Um, channel 16. Okay. Channel 16. It's from Noah Fairweather. Okay, so what were you just, li what's the weather? You were listening to the weather? So yeah, so there's, you could use the winch to open this, but the winch isn't on the boat. So Bob's gonna go, go get you. Always do that. Because as soon as he puts that in there, it breaks a chain and that thing will be in the water. 
There's a chain that holds this little cover on, so technically you don't lose it, but the problem is that you put the, the fuel hose in there and it breaks the chain, and then this little guy falls in the water. Uh, you want to put about 90% in, so it has room for expansion. expansion. We do have water tank gauges. Oh, really? Yeah, you want, you want to see the transfer? You gotta see the fuel transfer, it's awesome. See what I'm doing now. We were at 18% over here, and point, I've got okay. this on automatic, so I'm taking fuel from here and pumping it over there. Oh, that's so, smart. So you don't have to drag the hose well, over. I don't there. have to. But I'm going to because it'll take forever. Oh, but this is automatic. You're at 80%. Uh, yeah, 81%, and port is 37. <laughs> I'm running the transfer pump. Make it easier. You're at 95%. Uh, 93 actually. So why are these flashing? Because the engines are off. Okay. Keep going. 96. Well, 93 actually. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. When you buy a new Leopard, they give you the boat delivered with two topped off fuel tanks. That's nice. <laughs> Me for one. I think we're gonna get a couple spare ones anyway, but never bad idea. But if anything ever happens like that, yeah, you take the ones off your toilet tanks on your deck. The toilet tanks. The toilet tank. You know, you pump oh, out the toilet yeah. tank. Take all those off. Who cares? Yeah, that's There's true. Water go in there. Water goes out. Yeah. Goes you, along here. If you ever want to dive here, you probably find 12 of them. It's amazing the number of skippers we have come in here and they come up to the office and they go, do you have another cab? <laughs> Were they empty? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, so we were just at the fuel docks and topped off both the tanks. It was uh, $396, 400 bucks to fill it up. How many gallons did we fill up? 132. We should get anyway. Yep. Okay, we're going to come in. We're going to have two lines on the port side ready to go with big bowlings in them. Just to drop them on that post. Okay. Can you give me one black fender? See, look, they all have rub rails on them. Yeah, put me over that one to pour it a little bit. Yeah. Yep. And since you're signing in the great state of Florida, we have a tax called the Documentary Stamp Tax. <laughs> so get in the back. Are we ready? Yep. Well, thanks for taking care of our kids. Okay. We'll see you we got there. a boat. You got I'll a couple kids. Miami and. <laughs> 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 what are we talking about now? The uh, the Florida stickers. Yeah. Put this one here. Nice and easy to see. Nice. And then we'll go on the other side. We are officially not going to pay the tax in the state of Florida. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoops. Uh, it's got that one a little crooked. That's uh, okay. Here we go. So this shows that if any Marine Patrol <laughs> official sheriff or whatever fish and wildlife, they'll come up and they'll go, oh, okay, he's still good till June 14th. As soon as you clear, in other words, get your receipt, you're out of the state of Florida, yep. tear that off as soon as you can because they do get really weathered because it's so thin. Yeah, that's right. When you get your enclosure made, this will have to go away. See, that wasn't locked. This is what, this is what you're hearing. 
There's all the little covers. I'll put that on in a second. What's this one? That's the other set. Oh, we get two sets of keys. Okay. Green flash. Yep. See it right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's your sniffers. Okay, now it's solid. Mm -hmm. Does that say on? Yes. And now the green light step. Okay, you hold this down for another couple seconds. Yep. And let it up. If it goes out. I can feel it, yeah. If it goes out, then you just do that again. You have an oven and a broiler. Okay. Okay, and only use one at a time. Okay. You can't use the oven and the broiler. The oven itself, okay, so we just do that and okay. basically. Now, this is not, see, the flame doesn't go up and down. Yeah. And this is very, very high tech. I don't show this to you. This is really high tech. This is the latest. Oh, yeah, this, this the is Russians, a cutting technology. The Russians would love this to, to steal this uh, technology. It's a thermometer. Wow, what's a thermometer? <laughs> <laughs> so this, this is what, this is your toilet holding tank. See all your pumps, you know, your shower pump, your, your blaster pump, that's your pump for your, you know, your deck wash. Everything has got a label. Here, to make it quicker, mm -hmm. you've got this step. Okay. That's your holding tank right here. Okay. There's, a, there's a drawing right here that tells you how to close. Okay. So if you close this, mm -hmm. then everything's going to stay in the tank anyway. You don't. Yes. You know how to run this. Yes. And then you go, okay, I'm all done, but I don't want any water in there. So it's just dry mold. Mm -hmm. This is a little, this is a little tough because you can't see in here. Uh -huh. So I think this is removable if you play with it. Hmm. I think you can take this out and then put yeah. soap in it. Cool. Or maybe I'll just buy one of those pouches. Oh, all that. That's exactly the same. Right. Take it. Throw it in there. Right. In here is air conditioning. So right now, if you put your hand here. You'll feel this pump running. Okay, that's your seawater pump. Oh yeah. yeah. This is a very important strainer yeah. because you're running a lot of water in this boat. So we make it really easy to see and really easy to clean. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's your fuel lever, and this is what I was telling you about when you see that. Yep. It's you're your top. really, really full. Yep. Yeah. So you don't want it to go anywhere. Like you don't want these filling up. Hot water heater, and then there's your drain down. Oh there. wow, the hot water heater heat is. Nice. I'm That's to drain. It's if you get exposed. water in the tank, you know, every year or so, you want to check that. Okay. You open that, take the nut out of that end, put it in a glass jar, you look at it, you see a bunch of dirt and water, keep doing it until all the dirt and water is gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your hot water tank is heated off the engine or heated off, you know, your 110. Yep. I mean, this is good storage. What I put here in the tools, um, oil filters, oil. Spares. If you look down there and you'll see them labeled, is your engine battery and your ECM. Okay. So if you were if pop one, yeah. If your if your uh, bilge pump shorted out, this would pop out. Okay. You know, and these are breakers. Yep. So if something, sh if this this was on and and you had a short, that's a breaker. It's yep. not just a switch. This is cool too because it turns on. Lights and lights. Yeah. If you were putting the boat somewhere for two months, mm -hmm. then you would turn everything, everything off. off. You would yes. open your refrigerators, clean them out, take a little bit of bleach and water and wipe the insides of the fridge. It just kills all that mildew mm -hmm. and then leave them open. Leave it on the yes. So this refrigerator goes in, in halves. Okay, so that's the warmest. Mm -hmm. Press it again, and this is what I call one and a half. Mm -hmm. so bright, Press bright it light. again, it's two. Freezer's on top. See that white thing way back there? Yes. That's a condenser. Okay. That's your freezer, and then the cold air is dropping down. Um, so there's no separate compressors, there's no separate controls. So you feel this. Yep. See, it's just cool. Mm -hmm. Be careful with this because this is very close to the freezer element. And don't put lettuce and things here. Mm -hmm. You can put, yeah, put drinks and things like that yep. here. And then your shore breakers. 
are right there. That's your shore power breakers. Breakers. And over here you have your Raycor for your engine, mm -hmm. your proprietary fuel filter, which is Yanmar, and that's your raw water strainer, which is the water coming in your boat to cool your engine. Mm -hmm. um, is the red, is that still the kill switch, the red button over there on your left? On the right engine? there? Yes. Yeah, that's good. That's, that uh, shuts off your ECM, which will disable your engine. Okay. Because see, this is, this is totally isolated. This is a waterproof, vapor-proof bulkhead. Mm -hmm. So this motor could fall right out, and you wouldn't know. This could completely flood. You could rip the back of your boat off. This would all flood or be filled with sharks or, or sea monsters or whatever, <laughs> and they could not get to you. That's good. You just keep on sailing. Since your bed is right there. Right. You are waterproof. <laughs> waterproof, vapor-proof, no matter how much this stinks in here or whatever happens in here, nothing goes in your combination. Oh, I right. love the steps. This oh. is great. See, that's... I thought Bob and Melissa had one, but maybe they had not put in. Actually, just like a shower, right? You can adjust temperature. That's it. And volume. And turn the water off. This, this is water from your tank, right? Mm -hmm. Only. Yep, okay. fresh water. Fresh water. You got it. Oh, you do have a ladder. Oh, okay. And, and You're little, right. And a little storage little thing. Stove. So what you want to do is to have Laurent make up a piece of wood that'll go right in. See how you, these yeah, things stick out? Yep. As there, and then you cut a hatch into it. So you can get underneath it to put like more stuff under there. Yeah. Foot switch for the yes. windlass? Always. Definitely. The worst thing is your anchor's down with the 20, 30 meters of chain out and you're yeah. windless. All of a sudden the remote goes out. You just put your finger on that, bring your foot on that, and bring your anchor. This is like a backup, right? It's a backup. Whoa. So if your windlass starts slipping, yep. you can take that and tighten it up. Or if you had to drop your anchor, if those windlass burned up, you still had to drop your anchor, you could loosen that and then your chain would just... This is a, a Luhar hatch. Yeah. Yours is perfect. It's hard. See that groove? Yep. Mm -hmm. You can put these in that groove. For what purpose? See the little gap? Yeah. Just, just a little, little ventilation. ventilation. Right. Okay. It's just hard enough. Right. Because it's a hatch. It's a hatch. You want that... To be Any special like a uh, way of handling to open these and close? No. Just right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is at, at night. Here's what I always thought about this. You drop this down to a double. Mm -hmm. You're sitting here in the air conditioning, and you're looking out the stars. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. When you defrost it, that's Cleaners. going to be water. Yep. Very important. Push it in. Okay. You know, you've got your. You yeah. can line it up. So you have a little turning guy. This. Push it in. Turn it. And then lock. And then lock back. You can't just go like this. Because it'll burn. So you push it in. It'll lock. So you can't get it out, and then you lock this ring. Also, they can't pull out. 